Sneaking outside my hotel room, I saw myself in front of a mirror. No shoes, no socks, no shirt, no pants, no underwear. Just a towel wrapped around my waist. <laughs> Friends, ladies and gentlemen, why are you laughing already? You imagined how stupid I looked? Yes, me too. 1997, I was 26, Las Vegas seminar presentation, checked in to Caesar's Palace, room full of towels. They have foot towels, bath towels, hand towels, face towels, bed towels, and a spare towel, neatly arranged. More towels than I can use in a week? Cool. I like towels. I don't mind having more. As I arrived drained, threw off shoes, my socks, my shirt, my pants, my underwear. Crash landed on the bed, nothing on, just a towel wrapped around my waist. Wake up in the morning, same exact description. Ordered breakfast in bed, after eating, placed the tray outside the door on the hallway floor. An inner voice says, you are an idiot. An idiot? Do I care? It's early morning. Nobody is around. As the door opened, saw myself on the hallway mirror. No shoes, no socks, no shirt, no pants, no underwear. Just a towel wrapped around my waist. I quickly placed the tray on the floor. As I bent, the towel fell off my waist inside the room. I was outside the room and the door clicked. At that time, I didn't know which one to cover. I pick up the tray, I pick up the plate, the saucer, the cup. None would seem to work. By then, Two people were passing by. It was too late to pray. I was stuck to the wall. I knocked next door for help. A middle-aged woman in her late 70s opened. Oops, sorry, wrong room. She said, No, you're not in the wrong room, baby. You're in the right room for me. No thanks, I lost my key. I decided to seek help from the front desk, two stair, flights down the hall. The clerk of gloom and doom said, may I help you? I was locked out, can I have a spare key? He looked at me from head to toe, stopped in the middle. Mm, do you have any identification? Sir, let me check my back pocket. Oh, I am naked. He finally got me a spare key and off I went to the elevator. You'd think I learned my lesson? An inner voice says, You are an idiot. When the elevator opened, ten people stepped out fully dressed. And I was, well, fully naked. I said, Pardon me, locked out, had to get a spare key. All ignored me, quietly looked in all directions but me. As the doors closed, I could hear loud, boisterous <laughs> laughter echoing, mocking, humiliating. I hurried, got dressed, and checked I had all the clothes I need. When it's time to speak, nerves grumbled. You had better be great before any other disasters takes over. Because my topic was, are you ready for this? Dressing for success. <laughs> Dressing for success. No kidding. No cover up. Let it sink in. I was ruined. I sat there thinking of quitting and running. I thought and thought until I thought my dad once said 
all things happen for a purpose. Use them to your advantage. All things happen for a purpose. Use them to your advantage. All things happen for a purpose. Use them to your advantage. I regained courage, stood, climbed the stage, and started my presentation on dressing for success. Ask the audience. By a show of hands, who among you here had the chance this morning to see me naked? Ten people raised their hands. Seriously? You'll die if you were me. You could tell they were the same people in that elevator. I fired up, used that awkward moment as an example comparing dressing for success to public nakedness. To succeed, you got to get dressed. To gain better confidence, you got to get dressed better. Don't be stressed. Get dressed. An inner voice says, You are good. Ladies and gentlemen, Embarrassing situations or when you do something stupid all happen for a purpose. Use them to your best advantage. Remember, what's more important than a towel around your waist? A room key around your neck. When you step out, you'll never know what can happen next. When your door clicks.